Welcome to our video tutorial. In the layout area of the Pecan Planner, you can place elements on a page that are to be printed. In this video, we will show you how to easily add stamps, logos, pictures, text, and how to edit the document properties. We have already prepared a plan as an example. You can open the layout area by either clicking Layout in the Presentation tab or with the shortcut F7. Apart from the two previous pages, you can create another page at the bottom left. Then click on the button Viewport in the area Insert. You can now click anywhere on the page to set up and adjust a window. When creating additional windows, the ledger lines help you align windows together. With the corners, you can edit the size of already placed viewports. If you have chosen a configuration, you can lock selected windows with the tool Lock in the Tools area. With Unlock, you can undo the function. If you have placed all the windows, you can make individual settings using the Properties Editor and the Interaction Mode for each window. You can give each window its own name and customize the height and width down to the millimeter. The entry Camera allows you to select all standard projections or choose a camera that has been defined in the planning. In addition, you can set the display mode or the rendering style for each individual window. If you want to provide a window with an edge, you can determine its color here. You can also enter a title if you want it to be displayed in the window. When you have inserted a viewport, you can change the Print as Picture setting in the Properties Editor. Disabling Print as Picture allows a vector printout option. You can read more about this in our Pecan Planner online help. With the button Text found in the Insert area, you can also accommodate longer messages in your layout. By using the pencil icon or the property editor, you can then customize the text as well. A further step in editing the layout could be to insert a stamp. Stamps are headers for drawings which, for instance, provide information about the project, the author, and the scale at which the present design has been created. You can select and open your own stamp from a DWG file or use the default stamp for your layout. Just like any other element, a stamp will have particular properties. They can of course vary depending on the type of stamp. Once you change an entry in the property editor, for example the customer name or other fields, and then press the enter key, it will be visible in the corresponding layout. Within the tools group, you will find the button assign attributes. With this function, information that you have made in the document properties, tab address, and summary tab will be automatically transferred to the stamp. By clicking Insert a Picture in the Insert area, you can, for example, place a logo from an image file in your layout. Again, you can make various settings. In the Insert area, you will find the so-called drawing primitives, which include rectangle, polygon, line, circle, ellipse, arc, and arrow. In the Layout section, you have the option to define a line style for drawing elements and close polylines using the Property Editor. These settings are reflected in real-time display, in printing, and in the creation of frames. You can specify the line type, line type scale, and line width. Prepare individual printed layouts with Pecan Planner in order to convince your customers of your expertise. Thank you for your attention.